Imagine for a second that a person committing a crime, say for example, murder, he planned on committing a murder on his specific victim, he executed his plan, and he is somehow successful with his plan of committing murder on a specified victim. Now, if you Im imagine, while committing the crime of murder, he used a firearm. He fired several shots to the person. But, in the process of uh, firing several shots to the intended victim, some other persons were hit by bullets from his firearm and thereby killing other persons than his intended victim. Now, what would be his crime committed? Or how many crimes he, he the accused had committed in this scenario? Another question will be if the crime of say for example mal malversation mangawat o kwalta sa kaban malversation of public funds now in 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 order to commit malversation of uh, public funds the public officer committed civil falsification of documents now, uh, the question will be how many crimes committed and what would be the penalty thereof. <coughs> Those questions will be answered in our topic tonight. And as always, I'm your instructor. And we, tonight we'll be discussing article 48 of the Revised Penal Code. If you are aware of article 48 of the Revised Penal Code, it speaks about complex crime. Now, complex crime under article 48, the article I have just mentioned is a basic law on complex crime. What is complex crime? Na ay duha ka krimen na nabuhat Single act, single criminal intent, ning resulta sa two or more grave felonies. What do you mean by grave felonies? Grave felonies are those felonies which are punishable by uh, reclusion, aristo mayor to reclusion perpetua. As I've said, le, uh, a single act produces grave or less grave uh, penalties or felonies or when an offense is necessary means for committing the other. Now, uh, Article 48, as I mentioned, is a basic law on complex crime. Complex crime presupposes or complex crime na gitawag because there is one act or there is two two or more acts uh, committed with one with one criminal intent so there is for example in in the first part of article 48 it speaks about single act constitute a two or more grave or less grave Felony, so single act. The act of the act of committing the crime of murder is a single act. But in the process of of executing or committing the crime of murder, another adapts 
occurred or the act of committing murder produces two or more say additional homicide now the the actor in this case in his intention ang iyahod yung intention is to commit murder but then ay nadamay uh, how would you you file a case against the person you can say that you can uh, file a case of murder for his intended victim and homicide for the other unintended victim but you have to think about homicide or intentional killing he has no criminal intent in killing another he has no criminal intent in 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 committing homicide but he has one singular criminal intent and that is commi the commission of the crime of murder now if other homicides were committed that would fall that may fall under complex crime when a single act the act of filing is a single act produces or constitute two or more grave or less grave penalties again grave uh, felonies are those felonies which are which are punishable by uh, death or reclusion perpetua or reclusion temporal or prison mayor and less grave are those uh, punished from uh, prison correctional uh, you may you may i will discuss on the nomenclature or the technical description of penalties later on so that you may have idea of the penalties but anyway complex crime gitawag na complex crime kay duha ang ningresulta sa iyang single act or because there is one criminal intent in the second example given there is one criminal intent in stealing public funds and that is malversation malversation of public funds committed through or by means of falsification now that's if falsification is the means to commit malversation then this the crime committed will be complex crime of uh, malversation of public funds to 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 falsification of documents so ang iyang criminal intent is isa lang to commit malversation but then in order to commit malversation of public funds he he committed falsification of documents that is the necessary means for committing malversation so that will fall under complex crime of malversation committed by means of falsification of documents that is the essence of article 48 of the revised penal code Ang isa ka akto ning produce og duha or tulo or more felonies grave or less grave felonies or ang isa ka akto necessary para makumit ang ikaduha nga intended crime so there is it it's a compound crime there is one criminal intent in the process but the results uh, where some of the results were, were unintended like the the first example in model and homicide and the other one is the compound or complex crime of, of uh, one singular singular criminal intent and that is to a commit malversation of public funds and that is the uh, again and that is the essence of complex crime under uh, article 48 of the revised penal code now again in the example given the 
First example of model, the intended victim was uh, was killed by the accused or the person and by 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 doing or in the process of committing the model several other victims died so the one singular act of killing that person produces two or more grave or less grave felonies mauna siyang gitawag of complex crime or compound complex compound crime now what if Ang iyang plano is to kill as much as many person as he can uh, he can find in a particular house. Say for example, his criminal intent is to kill any person that he can find in the house. What would be his crime then? In the same way. In a in the example of of second paragraph or second clause of Article 45, 48 of the Revised Penal Code, if the falsification was committed to cover the act of malversation or kanang pagpangawat niya ning falsify siya o laing dokumento to cover his acts. Now, what would be his crime then? Would still be would it still be complex crime of falsification of documents, or malversation through falsification, or there are other crimes committed? Now, in the first example given, if the intention of the person is to kill. As many person as he can find in the house or a particular house of his intended victim, then he may be liable for each murder or each homicide. Probably, probably, or most probably, the crime will be mortal because he had planned. So, in that first example, he may be liable for each murder he committed. Or for each person or each victim or each death as the result of his acts. The same way in in in, in malversation if he committed falsification to to cover his act of malversation then the falsification is not the means for committing malversation. So, the falsification and malversation shall be treated as definite acts and they will be charged for each crimes separately. Now, remember, there is no such crime as multiple model. There is two, three, four, so on, counts of model. That's two counts of model or model or three counts of model there is no multiple more model in in our revised penal code there are as many crimes as you have committed and they will be counted as one separate charge and that is the site or trivia for the topic of complex crime another is uh the second example on malversation so if the mal the falsification gibuhat ni siya to cover or these are not necessary or not important or not essential in committing a malversation of public funds then they will be treated separately separately what we what i mean by be treated separately is that they will be charged separately with falsification and they will be charged separately with uh, malversation and that's it 
we will uh, continue on our next topic next time. Be safe.